Okay, the tooth that we are doing today is the 1.5 DO cavity for um, composite class 2 restoration. So, um, we'll show you how to put the sectional matrix system. So, put first the band and you need to make sure that when you do the, if you are if you are the one who is doing the cavity, you need to make sure that the contact is cleared on both buccal lingual and uh, gingival. So after putting the, the band, try to put this that part of the band. Um, try to adjust the band to come actually in. This um, the middle of the band will be on on the on the marginal ridge of the adjacent tooth. Okay. And then put put the wedge. As I said, there is actually there are actually three types of wedges usually come with it: small, medium, and large, color coded ones. So check. Um, maybe this the medium one and see if it will go um, and you can adjust using another one if, if you need larger one and um, then you can use the, um, the clamp holder to hold the ring and put it there to hold your band So the, the function of the sectional matrix um, band, um, sorry not the band, I mean the ring, is actually holding the ring, holding the band and also it causes some separation between the teeth, yeah. which gives uh, a very good contact. Okay? After you put it, try to push it down toward the, the gums and make sure that your wedge is also going in it's actually to secure there okay after you finish doing that you check with the probe that if if you um, like possibility of leakage down here with the probe because we are using flavel on on the on on, on the gingival seat so we don't want to get any um, any over uh, any any leakage at this part. Also, there is some you will find here, here and here. There is tiny gaps um, that might get excess. So what I usually use is Teflon tape. So I got like small pieces of Teflon tape, and I try to pack it inside. Um, when you use Teflon tape, try with the try to. Like put some water in the instrument that you are using, which will actually facilitate its. It won't actually stick to the to the instrument if you use some water. So with a perio probe or with a plastic flat plastic instrument, you can use um, to to push some push some uh, of, of this Teflon tape to make sure that you won't get actually push the, 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 the band toward the tooth to avoid getting any excess there which will will help you during the finishing that you won't spend much time during the finishing part if there is excess, and cut it, and you can do the same on the other side. Also, the instrument bit wet with water, and 